Hey everybody, welcome back to Backcountry Amateur Radio. I want to first thank all my new subscribers. Uh, there's been a couple dozen of you over the last uh, last little bit, even though it's been a bit since I've made a video. Um, either way, welcome back to Backcountry Amateur Radio. Um, I also want to say, if you haven't already, uh, please subscribe to this channel if you like the idea of the content here. And I also ask you to uh, hit that little bell next to the subscribe button and get notifications that way. Um, I don't do a lot of videos, um, kind of, I'm out a, as much as I can I'm in the backcountry. I'm a new father, so it's, uh, I'm doing what I can to share what I've got. So anyhow, I'm getting ready for the hunt and I want to share with you some ideas that I have for communication systems. Uh, while I'm out, mostly in the idea of powering your radios. We're doing a backcountry hunt, so we will be out there um, relying on the sun basically for energy for our, our radios. And, and I think this is a valid application for just about anything where you're using exclusively HTs. Uh, so anyhow, let's get to it. All right, so, so what I've got here, I, um, first we'll talk about the radios. We've got my Yesu FT25R, which you see in my other videos. I've done a couple a program video on this, but this is my probably my favorite radio. Um, these things are good. They're reliable. They're sturdy. You know, for for my GMRS communications, I've got a GMRS V1 from B Tech, and that is a great radio. Um, you know, very good signal reports. I have figured out a way to even use this little battery cell or this large battery cell, which are both USB, to charge this radio. And I think that's really important because over extended periods of time, it gets a little cumbersome to carry a bunch of spare batteries that are just dead, uh, especially when I need to charge other things. GPS watch, when it's being used actively all day, um, I, I need to have weight charges. I can't carry spare batteries for this. Uh, these days, smartphones are active GPS mapping systems, and they're way better than carrying a Garmin unit. Um, plus, the interactivity with the maps, if you download the off-grid maps, that's really, really, really nice to have. So, basically what I'm looking at is a way to keep these charged, and a way to charge this and bring this, bring this little cable with. Uh, and since I've got to have that, why not be able to charge this and this if necessary? Um, so let's take a look. Cradle, carry the cradle for that little guy. And um, the important part is knowing what you need to connect this to via U USB. So I can plug this USB directly into this USB panel, this is a solar panel here, or I plug it directly into this USB battery. And then I can plug it in to the cradle and transformer, trans proper voltage to this little guy. And I can, if I do have a spare battery, you know, obviously, just for simplicity, it's charging. Um, I'm charging off of a basic, basic system of USB cables. Um, so it's important to know what cables you need. Here's my smartphone cable. This little guy is a cable that will charge my headlamp. Um, if I carry a separate micro USB cable, I can actually, which I need to actually charge from the solar panel to this guy, I need to carry that micro USB. Uh, I can also charge my technical flashlight. In that case, for simplicity, I could carry my Radiodity GS5B because it uses the micro USB to charge as well. And that's, that's a beautiful thing. That re reduces the number of cables I need and it actually makes so I don't need to carry this cradle. So anyway, it just depends on what you need. And I think that if what you need can be simplified the most drastic way, 
then you're good. But what I know is that what I've got here works really well for me. It is a little bit heavy to carry, but it does eliminate some of the, some of the other needs for charging, say the watch and carrying extra batteries. So this is the extra battery, solar panel, and I can run this system indefinitely. The idea is to connect a solar panel during the daytime, leave it at camp, charging these batteries. If you get a good enough cable, long enough, leave this, you know, obviously in or under a tent, leave your solar panel in the place that's gonna get the most sun during the day, and charge that. This little guy hooked up to a wall socket can take six or seven hours to charge. Same with this, if this has got direct sunlight. Now the cool thing is, as you know with solar panels, they will charge on somewhat cloudy days. This little system can be more than just for my backcountry skiing adventures or my hunting. Think about this for local area communications in the event of a natural disaster as well. So this stuff can really come into play. Having uh, your GPS watch, track your, track your location. If I am in an emergency, I have got this for my exact GPS location. Well, as exact as GPS for consumers can be. I've got this for my longer range communication, and I will do another video on a remote ground plane antenna. This is a lot of electronics, and it's really become part of how we handle our situations in the backcountry um, and to, to make our most efficient use of our time. And they all require energy. So that's why I decided to make this video to share kind of what I learned through this experience of acquiring and testing this equipment in my backyard. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section. And if you found this video useful, please like it and please share it with your friends. And again, please subscribe. I'd love to see you down the road. Anyhow, Backcountry Amateur Radio.